Today is Monday, September 16th. And here's the word. This past Tuesday, the Women's Study Department hosted a discussion concerning the sexual politics of Robin Thicke's Blurred Lines and Miley Cyrus's performance at the MTV Video Music Awards for We Can't Stop. Professor Gabriel Rosenberg and Professor Claire Cunahan gave presentations on the topic from a wide range of perspectives, including Cyrus's racialization of the African body and Thick's use of parody. When we see a display like the VMAs, or we see any of these videos, our, our sense is that we should judge, sort of jump to judge uh, the sexual ethos on display without considering, for example, the multinational corporations and the large technological infrastructure that is embedded within society that brings these visions to us and in some ways is profiting from fantastical visions that are being produced. Afterwards, the presentations were followed by discussion amongst the students in attendance. President Obama recently stated in an address to the United States that our military should take action against Syrian President Bashar al-Assad after it was discovered he is using chemical weapons on Syrian civilians. President Obama asked for Congress's approval before taking action. We asked Duke students what they thought about the crisis in Syria. I do think it was politically smart for Obama to go to Congress to ask for authorization, even though he technically doesn't need to under the War Powers Act. But I think in this political context and with this many lives on the line, it was the smart decision to go to Congress. I think obviously all eyes are on Geneva, all eyes are on whether we can come up with a peaceful resolution to this conflict. But I think there's a big risk in giving up our leadership in this situation to a country like Russia that's sort of calling out our exceptionalism and treating our leadership on the issue as a negative. Last week, Duke had two incredible speakers visit to address the students. The first was Dr. Rajiv Shah, an administrator for U.S. Agency for International Development, also known as USAID. He spoke about his vision of leadership through the development of innovation economy. Later, former CIA Director, retired General David Petraeus addressed a Duke audience on the 12th anniversary of 9-11. He covered topics like the Syrian war, democracy in the Middle East, and the balancing of security and civil liberties. Thank you both for taking the time to speak to Duke students. Doris Duke's Shangri-La exhibit is currently featured at the National Museum of Art until December 29th. The exhibit features pieces from, and photographs from Doris Duke's five-acre state in Honolulu, Hawaii in which she held one of the nation's largest collections of Islamic art. In the exhibit, you can see examples of the architecture of the estate, the landscape of her Hawaiian home, and the Islamic art she had collected. Check it out. Lastly, Duke rose to seventh place in the U.S. News and World Report annual rankings of national university offering doctoral degrees. They praised Duke for its service learning, senior capstone, undergraduate research and creative projects, and writing in the disciplines. You can find the full article with the rest of the rankings online. That's all we have for this week. Check back on DukeStudentBroadcasting.com for the latest Duke news. And see you next week.